Osma for thank you very much and Osma for uh, in our previous interview uh, you made us understand that the Hebrew God accept clean animals as sacrifice such as cattle sheep goat and so on as the clean animal but here is the case other priests also uses what is tame as unclean animals such as dog pigs and other ones so as a traditionalist how do you explain the use of unclean animals by other priests thank you very much for this very question it is true that there are so many energies that people call gods mm, okay. and you see in that kingdom of gods or the energies it's just like what we have set up here as a kingdom mm -hmm. in every kingdom there are so many branches you see there are so many branches that rules and governs all in the body of the governance oh, okay. so the same happens to the spiritual realms there are so many uh, uh, there's so many attributes of what we call the god you see so the reason why we normally sometimes we normally use dog a dog is a hunting animal mm, okay. yes a dog is an, a, a hunter i would say you put it i put it in, or a security if we want to talk about the hunter or a security, the most powerful among those animals who devour, I will say, is the lion. Mm, oh, okay. So in proper way, if we want to talk about this issue, then people should have used lion as sacrifice. But lion, you cannot go forward and catch a lion. So you use dog, who is also equally a hunting animal oh, okay. or a security animal. Why do we use that? We use that because some of the energies are security energies of which we can say in the kingdom they are executioners oh, okay. just like we have a kingdom and we have executioners when somebody commits we give it we give him to the executioners to execute him oh, okay. like somebody kills somebody then when statement sentence is passed we hand him over to the executioner Oh, okay. The same way in the spiritual realm, there are energies who are executioners, like what we call tigare. Oh, okay. okay. That people call it tetragrammaton or uh, tigris. Oh, okay. You see, yes, sir. it's an executioner group of energies. So that one needs an energy that is in an executioner body to present their issues and case to them. Mm. So when you see somebody sacrificing a dog, he's only sending the energy that is in the body of an executioner or a hunter or a, a security mm. to go to the security aspect, to the security side of the governance mm, okay. and report that case. Mm, okay. So that is why the dog will be sacrificed to the tigari or the tetragrammaton or the tigris, as they call it, mm, okay. so that he will go and report his case within that group that the, uh, uh, the energy that lives in it will go and belong. Okay. You see, every animal and the group that the, en the group of energy he belongs. Okay. You see, so like I've es explained, the dog is a, a hunting animal, or in other words, I would say a security animal. The same way in the spiritual realm, there are a group of sp energies, spirits, who are also performing the same rites. Okay. And therefore, if you want to send any creature or any uh, 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 energy to them, then you have to send any energy that is a hunting energy okay. or a security energy. Okay. And those hunting energy can be found in animals that are wild, that are always hunting, like uh, the leopard and the dogs, and then the, the, the uh, how do you call it, the lions and the tigers. But those ones are f um, more furious. You cannot go for them, so you use the, the normal ones, which are dogs. Oh, okay. So that is why sometimes we use dogs in performing rituals, depending on the energy that you want to deliver the message to. Oh, okay. So, Osmo, for uh, are you trying to say, as a traditionalist, if I come to you for you to perform a ritual for an execution to be done for me, 
are you trying to say it is not a bad thing i can go ahead and do that uh, you see uh, i cannot say whether good or bad in the sense that everything that you want to do there must be a consultation because for me in me for i for instance you cannot just come to me and say somebody has fought with you or somebody is doing any evil to you so i have to uh, work to execute such a person before i go into that i have to consult and put the message across to the energies to decide what should be done oh, okay. you see that is why we consult so when you bring, sometimes you may consult and then you find the uh, complainant rather an accused. You see? Oh, okay. Sometimes when you consult, before you realize, you will see that the one who brought the case rather is guilty. And therefore, when, you know, in order for you not to commit any crime, you will tell the person you are guilty of this, this and that. That is why the person is doing this. So it is better for you to reconcile with the person. Because if I do not tell you and I perform those rights, the energies will attack you, the complainant. Oh, okay. Yes, because when they find out that you are guilty, they will attack you, the, the, the complainant. But in most cases, the reason why people who are not guilty are being able to destroy or killed by other priests or other traditionalists, it is not the work of the energies. It is simply because the traditionalists or the herbalists know certain herbs that they can use to do such dirty job. So those dirty jobs are done by themselves, not the energies. Because the energies are always perfect and they always, always work according to the rules and regulations in perfection. They don't go against anybody who is uh, innocent. You understand? So the question you ask is a very nice question, but I'm trying to explain that why is it that probably somebody owns a particular land and another person wants to take that land from him. Then before you know, he has gone to a traditionalist and then that person, the owner of the land is dead. Oh, okay. Then they will say, oh, it is the ghost, it is the energy. No, the ghost doesn't do that. But it is the one who is a traditionalist or a priest who will have the knowledge of what helps can be used for that purposes. Mm -hmm. So he did it himself. And in some cases, when you are a priest and you continuously, be, do, continuously being partial by destroying innocent people, a time will come they will also destroy you. Mm -hmm. Yes, they will also destroy you. So that is the secret. So many people think that, oh, the gods kill, the gods destroy. No, the gods doesn't do that. The energies doesn't do that. The energies are always in judgment. They judge to see who is guilty before they act. You see? They judge to know who is guilty before they act. But in most cases, when innocent people are destroyed or killed, it is the work of the traditionalists, it is the work of the priests, not the work of the energies or the gods. Oh, okay. That is the truth. So, Osma, for, uh, so uh, I would like to ask, uh, religion such as uh, Christian, Muslim, etc., etc., uh, we normally say the spirit that uh, our traditional people use in order to perform their rituals are evil. What do you have to say about that? You see, that is exactly what I have spoken already. There is no evil energy. What you see before an energy can destroy, then it means the person who has been destroyed is guilty of something. And you see, the way human beings see death as something so evil, the energies doesn't see it that way. Oh, okay. The spirit doesn't see it that way. You see, rather the spirits see the death of a human being or any creature as a liberation. You see, the energy has been liberated. But we people, we human beings, we see it as something great and something sinful. But they don't see it that way. You see, because they see it as, as if you are a human being, you are in rather in bondage. Oh, okay. If you are a human being, you are rather a lower creature. But when you come out of the body, 
that is the prison, then you are liberated. So that is how they see death. You see, so they don't see death as a, an evil thing. But why will they kill when somebody is right? Is wrong. Yes, they kill because they see sin as a contaminated uh, disease. That is how the spirit sees sin. They see sin as a contaminated disease. And therefore, when one of the seeds become uh, 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 spoiled, they don't have to mingle it with the others so that it spoils the whole uh, seeds. They have to take that one out for the others to be able to continue. You understand? Yeah. So that is, the, th that is what is happening that many people don't understand. So when you, somebody is killed, one, there are two things you have to understand. Let me give an analogy. A man who has two fowls or chicken and then he deliberately kill one, prepares soup with his wife and children and enjoys it. And along the line as they are eating, one of the chicken came directly to pick one of the meat from the food and running away, the owner angrily took a stick and hit that one and knock it and killed it and throw it away. These two killings, how do you see them? Which one is evil and which one is good? You see, the purpose of the killing determines whether it's good or evil. The one that was killed and prepared meal was for a good purpose. But the one which was killed through anger and thrown away was for evil purpose. So that one becomes evil. So what we see as killing or death is just that we don't understand. But there are meanings to all. There are purpose to all. That is not to say, when you go and kill somebody, I encourage you. The killing must have a purpose. It's the same way the Hebrew Bible records. The Bible records that there were two people having sex in the temple of God. And somebody who saw them pierced the two with a, with a, with a, 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 a sword and killed them. And according to that story, they say, God said, the Hebrew God said, ah, you have, uh, 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 how do you say, you, 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 you have put in my anger out. Because he was about to destroy more. Mm. If that guy had not killed the two. So that killing has a purpose. Oh, okay. You see, that killing serves an interest. So it is not all killings that are evil. A ki well, there are killings that has a purpose, there are killings that have saved a lot. Let's assume that somebody has tied himself with a bomb going to a train station to bomb and destroy many. Okay. Then you saw that person gone him down immediately and the, then the bomb explode on the way. So he was the only person who died by you acting that way. Will you say that that killing is an evil killing? You have killed to save masses. You have killed to save many people's life. So it is not all killing that are evil. There are other killings which has a purpose that is being appreciated. And one thing people must understand and know that death is not a case. I would have said death rather is a blessing. Birth rather is cursed because when you are giving birth, you have come into the evil domain of the world. You have come to a place where you will suffer. You have come to a place to meet a lot of tribulations. So rather if we give birth, we should rather cry than to be happy and making parties. Oh, okay. If person die, that is where we have to celebrate because he has left the evil world and gone to a peaceful place. Thank you very much for listening to me. I will come your way next time when you invite me. Thank you.